Now the methods of allocating the shared services costs. So whenever you have a common cost and you are allocating it to certain departments, what method would you use? Would you use a single rate method of allocation or a dual rate method of single rate? Single rate means you have uh, one rate which will include the fixed cost and the variable cost elements. This will be one. And dual rate means you will have one separate rate for fixed cost and a separate rate for variable cost. <clears throat> fixed cost rate, variable cost rate. Or allocation will be different. Okay, let's just look at it in detail with an example. Single rate method of allocation, budgeted fixed cost plus the budgeted variable cost divided by the budgeted hours. You get one rate, simple. You find out what is the cost, total it up. Total budgeted variable cost, budgeted fixed cost, divide it, you get the hours. Then whatever is the actual hours, you apply it to the actual hours. So this is what is called normal costing, if you remember, where we take a budgeted rate and apply it to the actual hours. Let's take an example, students. See if you can do this. The maintenance department of Excel Limited has a practical capacity of 2,000 hours and a fixed cost of $260,000. It services two departments, machining and assembly department. So you have this maintenance department which is providing services to machining and assembly which means whatever costs are there in the maintenance department have to be ultimately borne by the machining and the assembly department which are the production departments which are the not service but production department. The budgeted maintenance usage of the two production departments for the next period is 800 and 500 hours respectively. The variable cost incurred is 150 per hour. The actual maintenance hours used by the production departments were 750 and 500. This is actual. How will the maintenance department cost be apportioned using the single rate? So let us first find out what do you think is the single rate of allocation? So what will be your rate? What we will do is, this is the variable cost. What is it? 150 per hour. Oh, fine. What, what is budgeted? 800 and 500. So, 1300 into 150 will give me the total variable cost. Did you get it? What is uh, fixed cost? Fixed cost is budgeted 260,000. Add up both, you get the total budgeted cost. Divide it by the budgeted hours to arrive at the uh, budgeted <coughs> rate of absorption. Let's take a look. The budgeted fixed cost is 260,000. I hope this is not a problem, right? From here you get 260,000. Budgeted variable cost is 150 per hour into 800 and thing. So that is 800 and plus 500 into 150 you get variable cost. You got fixed cost, you got variable cost. You add it up, you get total budgeted cost. The budgeted hours are 800 plus 500, yes or no, 1300. Therefore, the rate per hour is 350 per hour. I hope I've got this correct. So, you get 350 per hour is the budgeted single rate of allocation. So, how will you allocate now? Simple. Machining department, when you got to actually, they use 750 hours. Assembly use 500 hours. Rate is 350. Apply. This is the portion. This is how the maintenance cost will be apportioned. Actual rates, this is how it's absorbed, apportioned. Maybe actually there is a difference. We should do something about whatever difference is there. But here, do you understand how the maintenance costs are going to be apportioned to machining and to assembly? Now, the advantage of this students is extremely simple, right? It's easy to calculate one rate, then I can just apply one rate and I'm happy. The small problem with this, you know, students, is this. Now, we are under the impression that it costs 350 per hour. This is the rate. Suppose we have another agency, an outside agency, who comes and says, you have a big maintenance department. You are a production activity. Why do you want to waste time doing maintenance? You do one thing. You can outsource this to us. We will do it for $300 per hour. $300? Wow! I am paying how much? $350. Of course, it's so much better. I can go ahead and outsource this facility. But don't forget, students, what is the cost that you are saving when you do it? You are not saving $350 here. You are saving the variable cost of $150, you will save. 
you will save the variable cost of 150 but the fixed cost may anyway if not all most of it would anyway be incurred so this mistaken decision should not happen when you are when you are uh, taking a single rate you must be very aware that it includes the variable and fixed cost and if when you outsource this facility if you end up continuing to incur the fixed cost then it may not be so cost effective so take your decisions after being fully aware and taking full cost is it clear of course, if they offer something below 150 per, I don't have to think about it and I can uh, go ahead and uh, outsource it. But when it is one rate, if it is only below 350 and much above 150, then it may not be the best decision. This awareness should be there. This caution should be exercised while this decision making using single rate. So single rate includes fixed and variable cost, you understood that. It allocates the fixed cost based on actual usage of resources. This may be result in a misleading impression of cost. So actual usage, whatever you had, based on that you have done the uh, fixed overheads. Because after all fixed overheads were fixed, you would anyway incur it. If you do it on the basis of budgeted hours, then it perhaps would have been more accurate. Now, if the support functions are proposed to be outsourced, this is what I was telling you, care should be exercised about the pricing because internal fixed costs may continue to be incurred after you outsource the function. Okay. What about the dual rate method of allocation? Here you have two rates. One is for the fixed cost and the other is for the variable cost. Fixed costs are allocated as per the budgeted hours. So it's likely to be a little more accurate and variable costs as per actual usage. Clear? So let us take this example again. Two departments again, same, same example, exactly the same. Only now you are going to be using the dual rate of method. So what will you do? You will say actual hours are 750 and 500. Variable rate is 150, 150. Therefore, variable cost is 112, 575,000. But what do you do about the fixed cost? It's as per budgeted. What was it? It's 260,000. 260,000 will be divided in the ratio of 800 and 500. 800 is to 500 in this ratio. So you get 160,000 and 100,000. So the total apportioned cost would be 272,500 to machining and 175,000 for SMT. Here since there are two, 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 way, two costs separately, when somebody, if suppose somebody were to outsource, we were thinking, considering outsourcing of the maintenance function, then we know we are, we are looking at a variable cost of 150. Anything below this we may be interested. Above this, we will think about the situation more. How much of the fixed cost will we continue to incur will have to be considered. Follow students. Now students, with this, let me also explain. Some of us get a bit confused or are a bit curious about what do you mean by the cost of the unused capacity. So I thought, let me just explain it to you with this particular example. Remember here we took the rate of absorption as the budgeted one. Suppose instead of the budgeted uh, capacity, uh, we use the practical capacity. What happens? Look at this. If we use practical capacity, we get what's a fixed cost? 260,000, right? 260,000 divided by divided by how many hours? We are talking of 2,000 hours and therefore you get 130 per hour. Okay, fixed cost rate. Now, budgeted is 1300, 800 plus 500. So, share of the fixed cost to machining is supposed to be 800 into 130. Assembly will be 500 into 130. So, you've got 104 and 65. It's not covering the entire fixed cost. Yes or no? I still have balanced fixed cost because it's supposed to be 260,000. I say that my dear students, is the cost of unused capacity. You have 2000 hours. You are using only 1300, 700 unused capacity into 130. 
91,000. So I report to the management, 91,000 is my cost of unused capacity. Should we try and utilize this capacity? Yes or no? The total fixed cost would therefore be 104,000 to the machining, 65 to assembly and 91,000 are not utilized, unused capacity to 60,000. This is why we said that one of the benefits of using practical capacity as a base, as the, uh, in order to compute the, the, the overhead rate, to use this as the denominator will help us to find out the cost of unused capacity. Separately, we can identify the particular cost. So dual rate of allocation, they have two separate rates for fixed and variable costs. It allocates the fixed cost based on the budgeted use of resources. It's a more precise allocation of cost and therefore facilitates better decision making, particularly when it comes to outsourcing decisions. Since the variable and fixed components are, are uh, separate, we are always aware of what the variable, uh, con uh, variable cost is and we, 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 uh, we, we understand that fixed costs are separate, different and may continue to be incurred. Conclusion, single rate allocation method is simple, less expensive because you don't have to break up departmental costs in fixed and variable. However, we could have wrong decision making like we took the example of outsourcing. Dual rate, managers are very aware of the fixed and variable elements, therefore you take better informed decisions regarding outsourcing support services to be made. Would be clear? So if you have to make certain better informed decisions can be made under, under dual rate.